Hey everyone, welcome back to the Drawing Journal. Hope you had a great weekend. Wouldn't it be unfortunate to damage your hand as an artist? So I hope everybody had a great weekend and uh, a week from last, last video. Um, I did have a new time lapse this past Thursday, so if you missed that, um, this is what this is what I drew here, BB-8 from the new Star Wars movie. Um, a lot of uh, uh, it was it was it was a lot of fun to to do this drawing. It didn't actually take that long, which was kind of surprising. But um, yeah, so I'm still going to be working on this semi-portrait that I've been working on for the past couple weeks um, in this video series, and I thought uh, thought I just uh, tell a story, I guess, from childhood. <clears throat> so, um, my week, my week was pretty, pretty much a blur. Uh, I've, I was either coloring my illustrations for the children's book or I was doing homework and I'm taking a break from doing homework right now to work on this a little bit. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty tired. Everything has just been, like I said, a complete blur. Um, I feel like, uh, though I feel like the quarter's been going pretty well, so I, at least I have that going for me. So anyway, I thought I'd just, uh, since I didn't really have much to talk about, I thought I'd just tell you a story. So when I was younger, uh, when I was in first grade, actually, I uh, lived in the small town of Dover, and uh, I went to, uh, went to this elementary school, and so I had this friend, I'm not going to use his real name, but uh, I'll just call him uh, Turtle, okay? So I had this friend, Turtle, and uh, occasionally I would go over to his house, and uh, we would play Ninja Turtles on the Super Nintendo. And gosh, I like I mentioned, I was in the first grade, so how old would I be? I'd be like maybe eight years old, something like that, I think. And so, uh, yeah, that's how I knew him. He was in all my classes because in first grade, everybody's in just one class. It was a pretty small school, so there wasn't a, a lot of classes. There wasn't a lot of people. But anyway... Uh, we had, we had music class in the first grade, which, um, was really great. So I'm trying to find my pencil. Yeah, so we had, we had music class in the first grade, and basically it just consisted of going up to this, this other classroom upstairs and playing random instruments like a tambourine or we used to have these little finger symbols that you'd like wear on your fingers and you you'd do this or you'd hold them and do that it was yeah it was kind of weird but um it was fun definitely one of the highlights of being in first grade for sure well anyway um i had this other friend and uh i'll just i'll just call him trouble okay um because that's what he was most of the time so Turtle and Trouble were two of the friends that I had in first grade. And one day, like, we were in music class, and music class was always the best. Um, it was just a bunch of first graders making music. It would probably really annoy me right now, and most people, but I definitely had fun making noise. So we, we would always just get random instruments assigned. We never really got to choose. Uh, it was like kind of a first come first serve basis. So obviously everybody wanted that one instrument. Um, and the person that got it was always envied because you know, you know how first graders are. They hate everybody. They're selfish. I was selfish. Um, and uh, so Turtle got uh, an instrument and uh, I think it was the, the tambourine. I think it was a tambourine that everybody wanted to have because uh, it was the loudest 
And I don't know, I think uh, everybody recognized that instrument. And so everybody wanted it. And of course, Trouble wanted the instrument too, but Turtle got it first. Um, so we did our thing and made noise for the half hour or whatever it was that, that we got. And so after, after class ends, we have to take all our instruments back and we, they were always in a box. I, I guess they didn't have any better way to organize them, but whatever. So they were just in a box. And so we, at the end of class, we had to take them over and put them back in the box. And I had, uh, I had already taken my instrument over or something about that day tells me I didn't even have an instrument. Maybe I was just sitting there singing or something, but I have a hard time believing that. Um, but so I, I turn around and I see, I see turtle sitting at, uh, sitting at his desk, preparing to take his tambourine and put it back in the box. And I, I just, I see the, the resentment on Trouble's face as he walks past Turtle. And then um, Trouble takes his little instrument or whatever it was, finger cymbals, back to the box and he starts walking back. And by this time, Turtle is already standing up and he's getting ready to walk back to, uh, to the box to put his tambourine in it. And... He, he, he drops it on the floor, and so he, he gets down, he gets down uh, to pick it up, and I see, I see Trouble walking past the desk next to him, and Trouble pushes this desk uh, over to fall onto Turtle. Uh, I swear, you, anytime you like get to experience like some kind of event like a car accident where you get to see it before it happens and during it happens and then the result of it happening it feels like everything happens in slow motion <clears throat> and it was a lot like that like i will never remember this i will never forget remember uh i will never forget this incident that occurred this day and it the way the desk fell, I just saw it all happening. And it falls right next to Turtle, okay? And nobody really, like, everybody kind of, like, looks because it, it makes this bang on the ground, right? And, um, and then all of a sudden, Turtle is screaming. And... I saw the whole thing and I was like, why is he screaming? Like it didn't make any sense because I, I watched the desk fall right beside him as he was picking up his tambourine. And it's like, did this, did this desk just make a loud noise and scare him or something? I couldn't figure out why he was screaming. And then of course it wasn't, but a moment later the music teacher comes over and asks what's going on. And, of course, Trouble makes up a story immediately and says that he bumped into the desk and it fell over onto Turtle or whatever. And then the teacher picks the desk up and she realizes that once she picks the desk up, that the desk did in fact fall onto Turtle. It actually fell onto his left index finger and there was blood everywhere oh my goodness i to this day i've never seen more blood in my life like horror movies have this much blood and it was just it was like it was like somebody dropped a gallon of milk and the cap came off and it was like bloop 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 like all over the floor it was insane and Turtle wasn't like a big kid or anything, so <clears throat> to see that much blood come out of a teeny tiny little kid, it was it was intense, and it was just pooling on the floor. And um, of course, the music teacher was starting to freak out. It was crazy. 
and like all the students were like backing up. Everybody was like in total shock. And um, like it, it was troubling to look at. Uh, I remember, I remember looking at it and I, I struggled. Like I would look at it and I'd have to, I'd have to turn away, even though I was completely fascinated by the incident and I saw it all go down. And, um, so a few minutes go by and all of a sudden the gym teacher, the, t- the gym teacher comes sprinting into the room and she picks up she she picks up turtle right and i see her i see her pick up the hand and the finger just like dangles and i i see the finger dangle from like just a thread of flesh and it was just oh, it was too much it was too much i'll never ever be able to forget this incident because it was so it's so vivid in my memory still and uh Oh gosh, I apologize if this story <laughs> completely disgusts you. <laughs> I guess I didn't think that 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 through too much, but it is a it's a fascinating story. And um yeah, fortunately, fortunately Turtle um they were able to save the finger. Yeah. So there it had a good ending. I mean it's a gnarly story to have from the first grade. Like you realize how easy it is to make friends when you say, Oh yeah, last year I got my finger chopped off in music class, music class. Like that is the, that's like the, the safest class ever. I've never once seen anybody get injured in gym class in my life. And ever never seen anybody get injured, but music class I've seen, and I've, I've taken shop class a couple times too. Never seen an incident, never even seen a splinter in, in shop class. But in music class, I watched a kid get his finger chopped off by a desk. Yeah, let's just say they made some modifications to the desks. They weren't very steady in the first place. So they, um, yeah, they definitely upgraded the desks like the day after that happened. All the desks were gone. All of them were gone the next day until they came back um, with like an extra support leg. Because it was one of those desks where like the chair uh, is attached to like kind of this this awkward, way too small platform where you're supposed to be able to work, but it's always way too small and terrible. Um, and for, for no reason... Uh, other than chopping off first graders' fingers where the, the edges were like razor blade sharp. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it was uh, it was an interesting day. I could tell you some more stories about trouble. Oh gosh, there's a reason. There's a reason he's trouble. But um, he never did get in trouble. Uh, okay, that's kind of ironic. Um, but... Uh, yeah, he never, he never got punished. Nobody, nobody really knows. Nobody knows that he pushed that desk over. Um, cause I'm, I'm fairly confident to say that I'm the only one that saw it happen. Yeah. So anyway, that is my story about fingers getting chopped off in music class. It was, um, yeah, it was an eventful day for sure. I never did get to play Ninja Turtles after that either. Hmm. I didn't realize that till now. Yeah, I never, I never went back over to Turtle's house after that. It's like, it's like once he got his finger chopped off, he wasn't my friend anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe he was just too popular for me. Too popular after getting his finger chopped off. Anyways, um, I know that I didn't really get a lot done on this drawing. I've kind of just used one color the whole time. Uh, I really wasn't even paying attention. I was just trying to, I was just trying to uh, say this story. I guess I just lost track of. I guess I just lost track of whatever I was doing. Um, but anyway, uh, I have plenty of homework that I need to get back to, 
And so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, take a break from coloring, even though I don't know what I did. I didn't really do anything. A little bit, maybe. Um, anyways, I'll see you all next week. Uh, I don't know if I will have a video this Thursday. Maybe if I get a little extra time uh, in the next couple days to get a video together, I will do. I will have another time lapse this Thursday. But I can't guarantee anything. For sure, I will next week. So, anyways, if you have any questions about uh, chopping off fingers or art, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I will see you next week. Take care. Peace.